Hello, I'm David Guthrie with His Word Lives Ministry, and I want to welcome you to this Christian message. We're in the book of Mark, chapter 6, verses 53 through 56. Again, we're going to have a message this morning, and then we're going to have our prayer time. The name of the message this morning is, They Might Touch Him. They Might Touch Him. Of course, we're talking about Jesus in his early ministry around the Sea of Galilee. Let's go ahead and read this scripture. And when they had passed over, they came into the land of Gennesaret and drew to the shore. And when they were come out of the ship straightway, they knew him and ran through the whole region round about and began to carry about in bed those that were sick where they heard he was, and whithersoever he entered into villages or cities or countries, they laid the sick in the streets and besought him that they might touch if it were but the border of his garment, and as many as touched him were made whole. We see here where Jesus comes from passing over the Sea of Galilee into the, into the land of Gennesaret. And he was recognized immediately now, and he has been preaching and teaching that the kingdom of God is at hand, or that it is near to the people, and that they needed to repent or change the way in which they live in their life and to live their life for God. <clears throat> they knew Jesus. They immediately knew him when he would enter into a city. It says here that, that he went into a number of different places. He'd go into villages, into cities, into countrysides. And no matter wherever he went, people knew him and recognized him and were lifting him up as the Son of God. He was preaching that he was God, and he was and is the Son of God. And they realized through the many signs and wonders that he has done, feeding the 5,000, walking on the sea, calming the storms. Jesus had been doing these miracles in his early ministry in Galilee. <clears throat> and there was quite a fame that had went out about him in this land around Galilee. And really everywhere were anyone that has encountered Jesus. Because I want you to know, any time that you encounter Jesus in your life, there's an opportunity for your life to get better. There's an opportunity for you to have a closer relationship with God Almighty and His Son, Jesus Christ. If you'll open up your heart this morning listening to this preaching message and allow Jesus to come into it through faith and belief in Him that He is the Son of God, things will get better for you in your life this morning right now. Maybe today is the day of your salvation, the day that you get saved. Get down on your knees. Ask Jesus to be your Lord and your Savior and tell him that you believe in him and he'll save you and he'll forgive you for all of your sins. They'll be washed and forgiven away forever and ever and you'll have an eternal destiny a heavenly destiny to be with Jesus, to be with all the brethren, the brothers and sisters that believe in Jesus Christ, and an eternal salvation, or in a salvation in which you will never die. Your spirit will be born again. God the Holy Spirit will come and live inside of you, and you will have life everlasting life on into eternity and you will be in heaven do you want to go to heaven today come to Jesus and let him make your life better today <clears throat> in this story 
around the region of Gennesaret. Many people were coming to Jesus. Can't you just see them bringing all of their friends and family that were sick and they were carrying them in their beds and taking the beds out into the street and laying them there. And many crowded him and just wanted to touch the hem of his garment. And listen, Jesus come into the world to be the Savior of the world. He did many signs and wonders that demonstrate his love for other people, that demonstrate his kindness and his charity to humanity. He healed. He forgave people for their sins. And he's still the only one that can forgive a person for their sins. And they laid these beds out into the street, and these people touched him even if it was just his garment. And it said, <clears throat> as many as touched him, every single one that touched Jesus was made whole, or they were healed. There's no telling how many people that were healed that during this time in this ministry at Gennesaret here. And they besought, they besought him and searched him out that they might touch him. I want you to know that that's the way it is today. If you don't have Jesus in your life, you need to seek him out so that you can have a touch from Jesus. Today we do this through a confession or a profession in prayer that we believe in him, that we have faith in him, and Jesus will touch you and save you. I want to praise God for loving us so much that he sent his only begotten son into the world that whosoever believeth in him shall be saved, shall be forgiven, shall have an eternal destiny with God as one of his children. Praise God. Let that be our first prayer request today that if you're watching this video, we're praying for you that you will seek out Jesus and touch him in prayer and ask him to be your Lord and your Savior. And he'll forgive you and do that. <clears throat> he'll be closer to you than a friend. He'll be your Lord, your Savior, everything, your all in all. He'll enable you to do things and go further and be blessed more than you would ever realize. <clears throat> I'd like to pray for Darlene Smith. And she has prayer for Cameron, who's having blood issues and her health. Nina Stanley, continue to pray for her and her headaches and her mother, Linda. Carl Richards, I'd like to pray for him. And that he, that he becomes the man Jesus wants him to be, and so see, shares the gospel out into the world. Bridget Fino, we want to pray for her, and she has tons of prayers that she's lifting up in this message, and she prays for his will in her life and the path that she takes. I'd like to pray for Bill Payton, for Iso Bukes, and I thank her for her prayers. Damien Marika, <clears throat> I'd like to pray for him as a preacher. We pray that he continues to preach, teach, and exhort in all faithfulness. Judy Peters, Lisa Overfield, and she has prayer for her girls and grandsons. Becca Davis, she has prayers to find a job. Chris West, uh, he's experiencing an unwanted divorce and asks God to help him to move through it. Deidre and Guido, Speranza, we want to pray for them and uh, uh, for a closer walk with God and for them to be debt free by the end of the year is their prayer request. The Garrett family, we want to pray for this family as R Randy Garrett passed away. I'd like to pray for my friend Jim Gerard and his recovery from a stroke. Philip Ramsey and elbow recovery. 
Deborah Matthews, I'd like to pray for her, and she asked prayer for Bree that's having kidney issues. Cindy Hightower and body pain that she's experiencing because of nerve situation. James Thomas, I'd like to pray for him, and he asked prayer for his dad that's in the hospital with pneumonia. Greg Dysart, I'd like to pray for him. Uh, and it, it, he, he says he's getting laid off. Let's pray that, that Greg gets a new job. Kathy Gibbons, I'd like to pray for her. And she asked prayer for George Southgate that's had heart surgery and is in the hospital. I'd like to pray for Chris Wood. Now, I'd like to pray for all of the ones that we've prayed for this week. And we pray for a good day today and a closer walk with God. <clears throat> I'd like to pray for Ben Watts and his sister, Kathy Green, Guy and Ann Emerson, Marcel McClure, Gwen Jackson and Vernon, Bette McGongalay, Jenny, Danny Kirkman, Cinti Jonah, Daryl Wilson, Byron Thompson, Don Thurman, Mo Clark, Samantha Abrams, Renee Cochran, Brenda Muse, Billy Chapel, Kathy Cash, Steve Hester, Carlos Flores. Now all the ones that we've contacted in our ministry this week, we're praying for you <clears throat> for a good day and a closer walk with God. Now you lift up your prayer request as we go to the Lord in prayer. Dear God, we come to you in prayer, Lord, and God, we thank you for another day that you've given us, Lord. God, we thank you that we can lift up these prayer requests to you, Lord, just in faith and confidence that you love us. And as we reach out to touch you, we know that you will make us whole. God, we pray for healing, Lord. We pray for recovery and deliverance. And whatever the situation in your will might be with each and every one of these prayer requests and people that have taken time to lift up a prayer to you, God. And Lord, we pray for the viewers that are praying during this video. And all of this, we lift up to you, Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us. God bless you. <clears throat> They might touch him. Thank you so much. Have a great day.